Hi, I'm Sadma Benawan, and I'm back with the task one for the May-June voting system. So the paper two one, the pseudocode for task one. So here's the description for task one. Basically, we're making a system that's going to have the votes of the candidates for student council elections for each tutor group. Okay, so I've gone through the details in a previous video and I've actually put the Python code in the comments of this video. So you can just take that code, copy paste it into a Python interpreter. There are some interpreters already online or you can download Python for free at python.org and try the Python code yourself out. So in that last video, basically we had step one, where the tutor inputs three pieces of data and validates them. So the tutor, the teacher basically inputs the tutor group name, the number of students, the number of candidates in that class and validates. And then step two, we're going to initialize suitable data structures, okay, to store the information, you know, the names of the candidates, how many votes each candidate caught, and how many students abstained from voting. Step three, we're going to use a for loop to input the names of the candidates. Okay, so a short for loop to input the names of the candidates. Now we're done with all the input. So I'm going to show you how the step one, step two, and step three are written in pseudocode. So for step one, print, type the name of the tutor group as the year and the letter. They input the tutor group. While length of tutor group is not equal to two and length of tutor group is not equal to three, that means the length of the tutor group is not suitable, print error. Enter a tutor group with a year number and letter. Input tutor group and while. For the second input, print how many students are in this tutor group. Input num students. While num students is less than 28 or num students is greater than 35, this means that the number of students they input was not in the correct range. It's a range check. Print error. There should be 28 to 35 students per class. Try again. Input num students and while. Finally, print how many candidates are running in this tutor group. Input num candidates. While num candidates is less than one or num candidates is greater than four, print error. The number of candidates should be one, two, three, or four. So that's another range check. Input the number of candidates and while. Now in step two, we initialize some data structures. So we have names candidates is equal to an array, a one-dimensional array of the empty string, and it, the size is the number of candidates. So if you have three candidates, there will be three empty strings in this array. Votes is another array, it's of type integer, and it's equal to zero multiplied by the number of, of candidates. And finally, abstain, we assign to it zero. So we finished step two, where we initialize some data structures that we need. It's time for step three. In step three, we have a for loop which is going to store the names of the candidates in the array names candidates for count and we assign to count from one to num candidates print type the names of the running candidates input names candidates of count next count so this is the code that is done by the tutor next we're going to look at step four in step four each student is going to vote or abstain from voting and their input is stored. This was the pseudo this was the Python code that we looked at in the previous video. Here is how the pseudocode looks. For count and we assign to count from 1 to the number of students. So you see the whole code is in this for loop. You can see all the code against the green line. Okay, so what you're going to do for each student in the class, we're going to print. Here are the names of the running candidates in your class. So we have a for loop to print, for example, those three names. For counter, we assign to counter from one to num candidates. Print. Type this number, counter, to vote for name candidates of counter and then next counter okay so it's going to display for example the three numbers one two three and next to them the three names of the candidates another print statement print to you know, to abstain from voting press zero input the vote input so the students will either type zero or one or two or three or four while the vote input is less than zero or vote input is greater than the number of candidates print error that's an invalid entry please vote by choosing a valid number an input vote input and while now because this is pseudocode we can use case so the case that they typed a zero 
we will update the abstain variable. So abstain, we're going to assign to it abstain plus one. If they typed a one, we're going to update votes of one becomes votes of one plus one. If they typed a two, votes of two becomes votes of two plus one. Three votes of three becomes votes of three plus one. Or four votes of four becomes votes of four plus one. This will make sure that the corresponding you know, number will increase by votes. Finally, in the previous video, we showed you step five, which is the Python code of displaying the winner, being able to find out who's the winner. Okay, we had to have a search algorithm to check which one had the highest number of votes and which candidates got the highest number of votes. Here's the pseudocode for that. So we're gonna print the name of the tutor group. We're gonna run a for loop for count and we're gonna assign to count from one to number of candidates. Print the candidate name names candidate of count got votes of count. So we're gonna put the name next to it, how many votes that student got. We're gonna do that for all the candidates. And we're also gonna print how many votes were abstained. Now we need to find out what is the highest number of votes. So let's say the highest number got 15. So what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna make a variable most number votes and we're gonna assign to it votes of one. So we're gonna take the first Num like candidate, for example, they got 15, and we're going to store that as the most. Then we're going to run a for loop for count is from one to number of candidates, and we're going to compare. If another candidate had more than the most number of votes, then replace more number most number of votes with that candidate's number of votes. So this is a, f a for loop, which at the end will give us the biggest. Okay, I'm sure you studied in pseudocode how to find the biggest. You definitely need to know that for your IG. Finally, we have a final for loop, which is going to check if any of all the candidates, maybe more than one of them had the most number of votes and they're gonna print, yes, this candidate had the no most number of votes, this candidate is a winner. So that's the end of the pseudocode for task one and task three should be quite similar. If you do need a pseudocode implementation for the other tasks, I'm basically going to reserve March 6, so a month from today, where I'm going to have a live um, pseudocode implementation of the entire voting system. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know anything about task one, any comments. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.